now so emblematic of Welsh identity that even giant bucket hats don't seem out of place. And while thousands of Cymru fans make the journey to Qatar wearing slightly similar hats, I'm going on a World Cup tour of my own, talking to fans from here in Cardiff to Bala, where the bucket hat was born. <laughs> Inspired by his bucket hat wearing 80s music idols, Tim Williams helped bring the craze to Wales. And there are bucket hats here, there are bucket hats now around the world. And it's, is it all your fault? Possibly my fault, yeah, but uh, there we are. Um, I never thought it'd uh, you know, be like this when I first started. It was more about having a bit of fun, really, and, and adding a bit of colour to the uh, Wales support. And obviously, the success of the Welsh national team has helped. You can't. You know, I can't deny that, so I have a lot to be thankful for. For Lois and Imran, it's Bala today, Qatar tomorrow, for a footballing pilgrimage to the World Cup. The atmosphere around it this time reminds me a little bit of the atmosphere around uh, Euro 2016, when that was our first Euros. They're just happy to be there, they're excited, they're just going to enjoy themselves, so I've got a good feeling that we're going to do quite well. Round the corner at Ballatown FC, a new World Cup anthem is building momentum. I'm on the playlist and it's uh, happening, so I feel like I've won the World Cup already. <laughs> so it's kicking off just at the perfect time. Wales at a World Cup? Yeah, it's mad. People are going to be watching us and thinking, uh, Wales, where's that? Ooh. <laughs> you know, and then uh, hopefully we can have a good year for tourism next year. <laughs> and you have a link to one of the players. Yeah, that's right. I've uh, played for Corwin for years. Harry Wilson used to be a child watching us on the sidelines. So, you know, 15, 20 years later, it's a strange one watching him go into a World Cup. I'm really proud of the massive thing for the area. Hello. My son is going to Qatar on Saturday, he said. 64 years since Wales were there last. If it's another 64, I won't see it. And he said to me, you certainly won't see the World Cup finals. I've got a few fans in Bala. I told them they can come and they can sing the chorus with me today. So right, uh, let's, let's, let's give it one more go then. Come on, come on. World Cup fever, this town's definitely caught it. Hamish Housegary, ITV News, Bala.